just yeah. Y'all know, yeah. know what time it is. <laughs> What is culture? Culture is a set of beliefs, customs, and attitudes of a distinct group of people. Every country has their own culture, and no two have the same. Culture is the values, norms, folk ways, and mores, and social institutions of that country. Values are the basic distinction of right and wrong within a society. Not all cultures have the same values, however, there are a few general rules that are universal for most countries, such as not stealing, not lying, and not discriminating, whether it be gender, race, disability, or religion. Norms are the general rules or behavior that people go by within a country. Some examples would include helping someone cross the street, leaving a tip for a waiter, or giving gifts at Christmas and saying please and thank you. Both ways are customs that tell a person how to act within a society. Some examples would include dancing, certain types of meals, and singing. Morals are the customs that reflect moral standards and culture, like taboos. Taboos are strong social bands that relate to any human activity or social custom that is sacred and forbidden based on ethical judgment and sometimes even religious beliefs. Breaking a moral can have severe consequences and refer to society's standards of correct moral conduct. Incest, animals used for scientific testing, and murder are all examples of morals. Social institutions are organizations that represent the activity of a culture within a country. Examples would include school, workplace, religious institutions, family, politics, and economy. Communication can be expressed not only verbally but through other ways too, like your hair and the clothes you wear and many other ways. Good communication holds things together, like organizations in entire countries. The communication between different cultures can be very important in international business. The goal should be communication to be effective as possible. Verbal communication is one of the most effective ways to communicate, since we learn to speak before we learn to write. Communication is the Parting and interchanging of thoughts, opinions, or information by speech or writing. Language medium of communication through words, symbols, and numbers. Characters are nonverbal. Cute. Verbal communication communicating through words that are either spoken or unwritten. The, num the number of people who speak a language differs in the number of countries who speak that particular language. For example, almost a billion people speak Spanish. But not, not many countries outside of China speak Mandarin. This is a major factor when it comes to international business because translators are often used when it comes to verbal communication. 
Every language has its own unique features when it comes to romance, languages, and the way you pronounce a word can affect the meaning or gender of the person you're talking about. Slang is, oft is also often used for a native speaker of a language. This can be confusing for someone who doesn't quite have as large a vocabulary. When it comes to communication and international business, technical terms should always be accounted for too, from computer terms to math symbols and terms. It is very important to keep them in mind. Alphabets are also major factors of communication. Since not all communication can be expressed verbally, words can sometimes be translated more clearly through writing. Traveling to a country with a foreign culture like China's can feel like being transported to another planet. One of the most important things to do to integrate yourself into the business world in a new situation like this is adjusting to the culture shock. Culture shock is a reaction to exposure to a new culture that some may experience and includes feeling uncomfortable, afraid, resentful, and or intrigued. After you have over overcome these initial feelings, you must deal with any cultural baggage, stereotypes, or biases you may have from your previous culture. It is important that you don't judge this new culture or the people in it based on any stereotypes or biases you may have encountered. Not saying it is necessary that you totally immerse yourself in the destination culture, nor forget your home culture, but it is important to your business's success that you open yourself to the new ideas and customs of this new culture. Oh. Oh. Check it out. Yeah. Tell that, homeboy. To all the ladies in the place with style and grace, allow me.